either Rain or Ray or whatever the fuck her name is, the main f actress of this movie, is either Han Solo's daughter or Luke Skywalker's daughter. Because, I don't know, it could be either one of them because they foreshadowed both. Either that or I'm just thinking shit. So I just got back from watching this movie and holy fucking shit, this movie is awesome! Damn! Okay, so where do we start? The nostalgia up in this motherfucker. The nostalgia. Anybody else surprised that Greg Gunberg from Heroes was in this? And Miles from Lost was also in this? I think his name is Reggie Lee. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong though. But the guy who played Miles from Lost, the guy who can talk to dead people. But yeah, those two guys were in there. Greg Gunberg was in just one scene. That was his big moment. Oh my god. Oh, whatever the fuck his name is. The guy who yells out, It's a trap! From one of the movies. I think it was Return of the Jedi. He's in this. As soon as you saw the camera pan to him, the audience was laughing. It was like, Oh my god! And my crowd was going like, It's a trap! They were waiting for him to say, It's a trap. I, it was kind of funny though, because like my audience was just waiting for that moment, because he's like talking, "Hush, Shama, we gotta do this," and people in the background complete go like, "Please say it's a trap." I can see why J.J. Abrams didn't put it in there. Speaking of J.J. Abrams, I'm surprised there was no lens flares in this movie. Nothing was blinding me whatsoever. I could be wrong though, or I just had too much nostalgic glasses to even care about lens flare. So anyway, the main chick, the main lady, Rain or Ray, I forgot, how do you say her name? Rain or something. Like I said, I think she's either Luke Skywalker's daughter or Han Solo's daughter. Cause like, yeah, Han Solo said like, it was like, you're like the daughter I never had. So I'm thinking foreshadowing, could it be? Han Solo has a daughter? Cause Kylo Ren is his son. Or it could be Luke Skywalker's daughter. Like when she was picking up the lightsaber in that thing, that short gremlin looking motherfucker. So like, the, the lightsaber was called for Darth Vader, then it was called for Luke, and now it calls you. So either she's the daughter of Luke Skywalker or Han Solo, one of the two, but now she's the female Han Solo, because she's taking over the role of Han Solo. And I said I called it five to six months ago whenever I posted that video up where I made a video where I said, will Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, or Princess Leia die in the new Star Wars movie? Months before this movie came out, or was it even in production? It was still in production. I like called it, Han Solo is gonna die. And lo, lo and behold, it, Han Solo dies. Cause yeah, he just gets stabbed to death by his son. God damn, that's hardcore. But yeah, he goes so flying off, but I'm thinking they're gonna bring us back his body or something. Who knows? It's Star Wars. They could bring him back for the next movie. Hell, Luke Skywalker in Empire Strike Back got his hand cut off and fell off 20 feet or whatever how many feet he went down and survived that fall. And then they picked him up and gave him a new hand. So who knows? Han Solo may still be alive. He just has a giant hole in his chest. Or they could rebuild him. They have the technology. It's Star Wars. So, speaking of Han Solo, it's awesome to see them come onto screen once again. As soon as Han Solo and Chewbacca showed up on screen, the audience just cheered their asses off. Because we were expecting stormtroopers. And like, yeah, little by little, it was like building up to them. And all of a sudden you see Han Solo and Chewie running. And everybody just lost their fucking minds. Like, oh my god! Everybody lost their mind when Princess Leia showed up. I'm surprised no one lost their mind when Luke Skywalker showed up on screen because like they were building up to the end. He slowly turns around with this big ass epic epic beard of his. Nobody said a thing because we're all just standing there wondering what is he going to say. And Rain just gives him the lightsaber and he just looks at her like what the fuck. And it ends like do you want to go on a quest and it ends like that. And then it ends and people cheered. It was amazing. Also the beginning Star Wars. You see Star Wars logo and then you hear the magic majestic song of dun, 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 and then the whole tr tricks the texting i'm just too fucking excited the text scroll just comes up nostalgia man nostalgia it was awesome times awesome 
Sorry, that's somebody else's line. It's awesome possum. I gotta start saying that more often, even though I coined it. Not really. Somebody else I know said awesome possum, and I just got it from them. Somebody from work a long time ago in a far, far away. But anyways, on to this movie. The guy who played Finn, he, he didn't do much. I was expecting him to do stuff, but he wasn't doing much. He got into fights here and there. It's pretty cool that they said, like, they're no longer clones, and they now just raise babies from birth to be uh, be stormtroopers, which is kind of a cool idea, but this is the first time that he sort of sh has behavior problems, so they may work more into that in the next two movies, like where he probably goes back in the dark side, who knows? Because he just started becoming good for some reason, out of nowhere. Kylo Ren, and seriously, I thought it was fucking Jar Jar Binks at first, because the mask, the fucking mask, how it's shaped, the lips coming out to here, and the, the height of Kylo Ren, a skinny motherfucker, I seriously thought it was Jar Jar Binks, I'm going like, oh fuck no, don't let it be Jar Jar Binks that turns into dark side, because I can't take this shit seriously, but this is J.J. Abrams, I forget, I forgot about that, J.J. Abrams is not going to do something stupid as put like, Jar Jar Binks as Kylo Ren. Like, I can see why Jar Jar Binks would go into Dark Side being treated like an idiot and then just finally snapping and saying, fuck it, I'm becoming Kylo Ren, putting on the voice. But I was, like, seriously thinking there that Jar Jar Binks was Kylo Ren just because of how the face was molded on the mask. And then we find out he's Han Solo's son. And when he takes off the mask, he's less menacing, but when he's with the mask on, he's more menacing. I'm just saying, without the mask, he's sort of a crybaby bitch, is what I think. But when he puts on the mask, he is hardcore. Chewbacca, same as ever, funny as fuck. BB-8, kind of a cool new character. I seriously think he's made of the parts of R2-D2, or it could be like R2-D2 son. I don't know how the ship works in Star Wars. Do robots have kids? Could they make parts and just call them kids? It could happen. It's Star Wars. C-3PO. C-3PO. Showing up. Got the biggest laugh and cheer. Because like, he just came out of nowhere. He's like, oh my god. And like, Kanye school was like, C-3PO. People were excited, man. People were just fucking excited. I don't blame them. Now that he's a red arm for some reason, I hope they explain that in the next movie. Or the next movie after that. Or if Disney keeps on cashing in on franchise. They could do a prequels before these movies, like set between after Return of the Jedi, leading up to Force Awakens, because this shit's never going to end if Disney starts making more of these. Because we seriously need to know what happened to C-3PO's arm, man. Some people want to know. No, not really. Uh, the nostalgic shit, man. Oh, yeah, seeing Millennium Falcon for the first time in years on the big screen like they they lead up to it like it's like let's get on that ship no that's a piece of crap let's go on this one they blow up that one it was like okay let's go to the piece of crap and then he pans the camera to many of folk and people just lost it's like holy fuck people cheered man people cheered me and my buddy look at each other like oh fuck nostalgia fucking nostalgia nothing else must be said nothing else can be said man that's the whole movie uh, seeing Princess Leia back again is also cool. Like I said, Harrison Ford as Han Solo, Chewie, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2 finally coming back at the end. You know, as soon as R2-D2 came back online, the audience was waiting for Luke to come in at any moment because they said he'll come back online when he finds Luke. And then later on, R2-D2 turns on and half the audience was going like, oh my god, can it be? And no, Luke Skywalker didn't show up. But he showed up at the end and everybody's still quiet because they were like just mesmerized, man. Just mesmerized. I don't know what else to say. God damn it, this movie was awesome. So I give this like, what? A 9 out of 10? Like to see what happens in the next movies? Like to see what happens to Rain, Han Solo 2.0? And the Avengers Chewbacca? Oh, and I'd like to also see Billy D. Williams come back at least one time to steal back the Millennium Falcon from Harrison Ford. Yeah, that would be cool. Anyways, that's it for now. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.